Good afternoon, everyone. Take two for me. Um, so, good afternoon. My name is Amy Williams, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is Sunday, September 22nd, 2024. And if you are like me, it was um, August yesterday, and tomorrow's Christmas. So, I'm a little bit... Well, I can't believe it's September 20th. I feel like this month has flown by, um, which is which is fine. It's okay. Um, but I was pretty excited. Um, I don't typically do Christmas cards right now. Normally, I'd be showing you another fall card and doing that. Um, but this, this card kind of came to me. I had a great idea. It was so beautiful in my mind. It didn't work. It didn't work. No matter how many times I tried it this morning, and I've been working at it for like four hours, and it did not work. So, I was like, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. I still couldn't get it out. So, I've, I've modified and adjusted, and if you are a teacher out there, you know modify and adjust is what we do all day. So, I modified and adjusted the card to where I like it and I'm happy with it. So we, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I wanted this, um, uh, you know, that I wanted to use the emboss, embossing folder and do things, it just, it didn't work. I'm just gonna be honest, it didn't work. So anyway, but I am happy with what I came up with. So here's a Christmas card. You may not be ready to make Christmas cards and if you're not, that is just fine. Just um, file this for later. And when you're ready, come back to it because I think it's pretty. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. All right. Okay. So we're going to start here. I, is anybody else not able to work in a mess? I have to tell you, I had to clean up my whole craft room before I did it. All right. So here is the card we're doing today. Okay. And you can see it's embossed. Now I am using decorative trees. This bundle I did not buy for this stamp set at all. I didn't um, have, uh, honestly, I had absolutely no plans for the stamp set at all. It was not even, it, it wasn't even a little thought in my brain. I bought this stamp set for the dies because I think these dies are absolutely precious, okay? I will do something with these. Not today, okay? Because, well, that wasn't, I don't know. I didn't. Okay. That's, that's all I have to say. I didn't. All right. So we're going to do some embossing today. We're going to have lots of fun. Okay. So here's the card that we are doing a version of, you know me, I'm always going to change it. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start. We're going to start by embossing and I am using seafoam green. Okay. I'm using seafoam green for this. You can see I've done this a lot because my hands are very, uh, green and I'm going to use shaded spruce in a minute but we're going to start with the Christmas tree we're just using this photopolymer set and we are going to use Versamark yes we are reverse embossing oopsie um but you know maybe in reverse embossing with a twist okay that's what I'm going to call it so I'm going to do this now I'm going to do it here now I have made this card right now at five and a half by four and a quarter because I know I'm gonna cut it down. I know I'm gonna cut it down, but I know I'm gonna make mistakes. And it's gonna depend on what side I make a mistake on that I cut it down to. So I'm not gonna worry too much about the bottom, but I am gonna show you something in a minute. All right, so I've got one, and it's hard to see Versamark, right? Let me put glasses on. Not that glasses are gonna help me see the Versamark, but they're gonna see a little bit. So you can't really see a lot. You can kind of see it maybe a little bit. So here we go. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do this one down a little bit because I want this to look like a sea of trees. Okay. I have some green on this. This one's going to go up. This one's going to go right. Let's see. Right here. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to go up. I'm gonna go up like this, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in just a minute, okay? Now that's where I'm putting this one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my chamois, okay? And I'm gonna wash this off, okay? I'm gonna wash this off, okay? And then I'm going to put this back into this here, 
just here. So then I'm gonna go under this tree and I'm gonna add, hoping I'm doing this right, I'm gonna add this here. And that is how I'm gonna get this tree taller, okay? And I can go ahead and do one here. And then I think I'm gonna add one more right here, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do the embossing powder and you're gonna see a little bit more what this is. But honestly, you're not gonna see it as much because this is a, it's a pale color and I get that. So we're gonna, ah, all right. I'm gonna get my embossing powder out and we're gonna put the embossing powder on here. I do have the new embossing powders, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna use what I have first, okay? Um, because, well, that seems wasteful not to. They do still work, but I don't really wanna mix them. I'm, I'm kind of against mixing them. Okay, cause so you can see how I got that tree taller, okay? Now I'm gonna use my heat and emboss, or my embossing gun and I'm gonna emboss this. Um, and as I do it, I'm gonna tell you why I had to clean. Okay, so I am kind of weird. I am kind of weird about um, having my space clean when I do, um, when I work in here. And I know most people are like, oh my gosh, I work in a mess. I love working in a mess. And I think if you can do that, I think that's great. And honestly, that used to be me. I always used to work in a mess. And I was like, ugh. But now as I've gotten older, it bothers me more. And so I can't have all around me. So I went on a kind of a little, um, I'm not gonna say rampage, but it might've been a slight rampage in that um, I, I also knit. And I knitted a really cute Santa hat many years ago and I've lost it, but I don't throw anything away. So I have to have the pattern. I'm gonna make sure, you can see how this is all kind of shiny. Um, so I tore my craft closet apart yesterday looking, or the other night looking for that. Okay, I think this is all done. And you can see this. And so here we have our cute little trees. And yes, I will be cutting off at the bottom and I'll be cutting off this side because I don't like that. It doesn't look as good, right? But I always make a mistake. So that's where the mistake is, okay? And see, you can hardly tell that this is an extra stamp, okay? But it made that tree taller because I needed a little bit more height because the first time I was like, I need something taller and it's making me crazy. So um, there you go. Okay, so I've got this embossed and I'm pretty happy. I, I'm gonna let this dry just a little second before I do it and I'm gonna tell you, I, I, just, I just am, I don't know why, but I am. So while that is drying, let's go ahead and stamp our um, sentiment. Oh no, let me tell you about this. Okay, so I want a moon, okay? So I use our, um, what is this? Um, something of nature, um, spotlight on nature dies, okay? And I cut that out of our masking paper. And I'm gonna cut this out because I'm gonna actually use both of these. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out. And normally, you know, when you cut something, this masking paper is so awesome. Um, normally, I wouldn't cut such a big thing, but I'm gonna actually use both of these, okay? So, oh, look, that just came right off, so that's good. So I'm gonna put this right here. I want, ah, oh, do I want my moon here? Huh, no. Let's see here, do you want it here? Or do you want it here? I think it could be either place. I think, but this is going to have more room. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to, I'm going to kind of whoosh on that. Okay. Now, this is fine. I'm ready. Now I will tell you, I'm going to use shaded spruce and no, no lies here, guys. I, um, I inked this puppy up and if you've, <laughs> okay, I say I like my workspace clean and then that popped out. Okay. Um, if you've never re-inked an ink pad, okay, all you do is you take your re-inker and you just go this way, okay? I'm, I'm not doing this fully because you're going to go this way, and then I also go this way, 
and this way. And you would put more ink on there, but I just re-inked it. So I didn't really want to add a ton more ink, but I did want to show you how I did that. And I did that because I want this to, to be on here, right? So I'm going to use my thing. And look what I just did. Okay. All right. I am going to be a mess at church tonight, y'all. I have to serve tonight, and they're going to be like, what is all over you, lady? Do I really want this? Okay, I'm going to have to do some big scrubbing. Okay, let's at least get that kind of off. Okay, so then I'm going to go, and I'm going to do this. And if you know me, you know I never use a heavy hand at this. Today, heavy heavy. Okay. I want this a deep, deep green. We don't have a hunter anymore. We don't have an evergreen dark. So you know what? I am making shaded spruce my evergreen. Okay. And it works right here. You can see. Okay. I'm making this really dark, especially here. But I'm not making it really dark around here, okay? I really don't want to make this dark, okay? So I'm going to do this. I I have not cut it yet because you never know. What if something else messes up and I need to um, cut it off? So, okay, and see how this comes out. Now, this is going to, we're going to fix it even more later, okay? So we're going to. Go like this. I'm going to go like this, but guys, look, I'm just going to be honest. Do not go really hard around here or these little, the ink will go through there and you don't, you don't want that. So I'm going to go around the edge like that and I'm giving it, I'm giving it a good push. Okay. Oh, and so look how dark this comes. Isn't this so pretty? Oh, all right. And I kind of want it to be in a circle, so I'm kind of kind of doing a circle there. Let's go a little darker there. Okay, so there is my green. Oh, y'all, I just think that's pretty. Okay, all right, so I've got that. And you're like, Amy, that's not done. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna take my little towel, okay? A little towel that's got bleach all over it, okay? And I'm gonna rub it and rub the green off of my white and just, just brighten it up a little bit, okay? It's not gonna all come off and that's okay. That's okay, okay. Now, I'm kinda going like this too to get some of that off just to kinda dry it a little bit too. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over top of this. I'm not taking this off until I have put this on it. Then I know that I've got it exactly where it's supposed to be, okay? So, I'm going to do that. And you can see I'm just putting it right where that circle is and giving it a nice, good um, push, okay? And then I'm going to take this and pull that off. And that's where your pale plum is. And you can see that this has kind of gone through. But we're gonna fix that because we are going to add white onto there because I want it to be the moon. And I realize that my white has gotten a little bit of something on it, um, which doesn't make me real happy. Um, and I'm not really sure. Let's see, I'm gonna use, if I had a, let me see if I have a thing, hold on. I have one Kleenex left. And I'm just gonna move that off there like that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of more, a little, little bit of more. Let me add a little bit of white. This is, white is really thick. This is actually one you can emboss with. So you could use this and use your, um, um, uh, white embossing ink so you can do that in, if you want something brighter and this is actually a good time to to do the re-inking of this since you're using this anyway and it's gonna kind of push it in there anyway so you could kind of have that okay so now i'm going to take this and i'm going to go over this 
And so you have to be really careful because this thing can come up. But see, when you do that, that kind of goes away. Well, I'm trying to really get that over that where that green was. Okay, and then those will kind of go away. All right, and then I think when you take it off, it'll be, it'll be fine. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to do that. Then I can take this off, maybe. Let's see. Okay, then we can take this off, and I have that. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more, um, give it a little more haze, then you can kind of go over it like this now. I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do that. I tried to make that haze come with the pale plum, okay? I tried to make it with the pale plum. Okay, so that does take a hot minute to dry, and you can use your heat embossing. Um, you know what, if I wanted to, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get that white embossing powder out again. I'm gonna do this, y'all. I just had a thought. Let's put this right back on here. Since that is, and you can kind of see that white, let's just emboss it. Let's just emboss it. And then we're gonna have a nice white moon. Okay, you can do that. Do you see how I put that back on? Because then I didn't get my white embossing powder everywhere. I mean, theoretically. Then, okay, I'm gonna get my little brush here and brush that off because I don't want that there. Okay, then you can emboss it and it's gonna be white and those little lines will pretty much go away completely. I think, yep. Goes. Yeah. Then you really don't have those anymore. So there you go. Nice white embossed moon. Okay. You know what? I think I just thought of something. For next week, we're going to do, y'all, we're going to do that again. I'm just going to tell you again, we are going to do something like that again with the masking paper and the embossing, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's gonna happen. Okay, so here's this, which I love, but I do need to cut it down. Okay, so I'm gonna get my my uh, cutter here, and let's see, I have to do it like this. I'm kind of, um, if not anal, just a little anal. Now, I am gonna say, yes, I say I like my things neat, but around me right now, it is not me neat, and I know that. Um, but just, just no. Okay. I know it's okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to three and a quarter here. Okay. So there you go. I cut three and a quarter here. All right. And see how I've got that. All right. So then I'm going to take, I'm going to take a quarter off over here and then I'm going to take a quarter off over here. So then, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do that, I like that better. Okay, so there's this, okay. I actually think this is kinda of neat. You might even could do something with that. You could actually do something with that. You could put it on the inside of the card. I'm not gonna, but you could. Okay, so I'm gonna move this, a little bit of this. I was a little too messy, I know. There's still some on my paper, but sorry. Okay, so there's this. Now I'm going to, I wanted to add ribbon, and the ribbon I chose that I used on my card was one that I thought we still had, and I don't think we still have it anymore, and so I was like, crud. Um, this was the one I was used, that I used last time, and I was like, oh, man, that didn't work, because we don't have this anymore, I don't think. I think this was from last year. And I was a little frustrated, okay? So then I was like, all right, what do we have? Um, nothing that I like, but, I do like this white grow green crinkle. Do I want white? No, I do not. I want to add in the red. And so I added in I added in red. Okay. Now there are two ways that you can color this with with. You can use these, okay? And I'm going to be honest, I did it and look what I did to my tip. 
Can you see that? Yep, Amy's gonna have to buy a new tip, be a new new one, because I kind of ruined my tip, and that was that's on me. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little unhappy with myself. And I was like, there's got to be another way. And you know what? Here's what I decided to do. I decided to use this, okay? I decided to use my Cherry Cobbler ink pad. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I decided to use my Cherry Cobbler ink pad and my brush. And you know what? That's what I did. I did like this. And it worked, okay? It worked. I don't know if you're not supposed to do this. I don't know the rules, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. Part of this is this, and this part is the alcohol, and this is not the alcohol ink, and I don't think you can tell really any difference other than you, you can't. All right, so there you go. And then I'm gonna actually do the back because I wanted to get to make sure that it's all for this one, all into those kind of grooves, right? You wanna kind of get into the grooves and make sure that the um, red is all in there. Okay, so there you go, look at that. Who knew? That's, that's what we're gonna do, okay? And that's the way it is, and that's what I decided, so by golly, that's what we're gonna do. All right, now let's stamp our um, sentiment. Again, I'm using Cherry Cobbler. I'm going to use Season's Greetings because um, I don't know what I'm going to use this for. If if I had to guess, I will use this as a thank you note because that's what I always seem to need at Christmas time or thank you notes. Um, and it was funny because I was at Stamp Club the other night and I was talking about, oh, I always need that or whatever. And one of the girls was like, I don't send that many thank you notes. How do you send all those thank you notes? Where do you do that? Well... I do a lot of thank you notes. One for my, I am using this stamp right here, this punch right here. Um, I do it with one anytime our PTA does something for us or something like that. I do try to send them a thank you note. Um, if a child gives me something, um, I always send a thank you note. I think that's a good lesson in teaching when kids give you something to teach them how important it is to give a thank you note. I'm stamping, pin punching another one in Cherry Cobbler like that. And then I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm gonna get my thing, um, I'm gonna get my cutter back out. And I'm gonna cut this in the middle, okay. Line it up there as good as I can. I still think these go over a little bit. Hold on. I can't talk about something and do this because that would just be crazy town. All right. Anyway, I do think it's very important to teach kids to, to write a thank you note. And by doing that, by me doing it, maybe that teaches them that they should too. And so I just, but because I think it's nice, you know, and I know a lot of people don't do that anymore. I know a lot of people will just send an email and I'm like, ugh, no. I don't like to just send an email. I like to send a thank you note. And of course, if I make them, I'm also going to do one I make because, well, why wouldn't I, right? Okay, so I've just added that like that because I liked a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it, okay? Might as well cut where all the coloring is on. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it like this, and I'm gonna tape it down with scotch tape. Yikes! Okay, scotch tape, scotch tape. Okay, all right. And then I'm going to dimensional this onto here. I could put it here, but I definitely think it needs to go there. All right, oh, wow, that, that, did that, what did I do that so crooked? Amy, what were you thinking? How did I make it that crooked? Wow, is that better? No, now, now I'm crooked the other way. My goodness, that was, well, slap me dumb and call me stupid. All right, there we go, there it is, okay. And I'm gonna put a dimensional right there just to make sure that stays down. 
I'll do that there. I'll do one here because I accidentally had that come off. I'm really going to have to do some scrubbing to my hands later. All right. So that is going to go here. All right. Oh, that doesn't have one because it is right there. Okay. Let's do season's greetings right here, just like that. I want that little tree coming up, okay? And see, you can't even tell that I added length to that, but I did make it higher, and I do really like it that that got to be a little bit higher. Now, I am going to mount that on this, and I am going to dimensional it because this is already, this ribbon is kind of thick, and so... I think I think it will lay prettier if I use um, dimensionals. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cause you know that's okay. I'm gonna say this one kind of came off there, so I'm gonna pull that off like that. Okay, let's see. Let's do one more here, and then one more there. And other people can do this better than I can, but I always want to. I want to be like the cool kids. I want to be like the cool kids that can do this that I'm not smart enough to do. Forget it. I'm going to use my, my old world fingers, not the fancy tool. I wish I was so good that I'm, that I'm not. Okay. So this on to Cherry Cobbler. And if you wanted to use Real Red, guess what? Use Real wet Red. It's your call. Okay. There's that. Then I have a piece of um, seafoam green, okay? And I use my finger like that because I am I know I have a lot of ink on my hands and so I'm trying not to mess it up too much. Okay, this I will put flat. And we'll do this like this, okay? So there is that card. Okay, now I, I do want to do a little bit on the inside. Let's stamp, let's stamp a tree on the inside. Mm -hmm. And when I did this earlier, I did a terrible job. So let's see if I can do it right this time because, oh, much better, Amy. And then this guy's going to go here like that just to give it a little fun on the inside, right? All right. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not done. This is not done. Because we have, we need to, to zhuzh it up just a little bit. Now, you can certainly add, that. I will say, these jewels are currently unavailable. They will be back, I, I assure you. Um, but I am going to use, I'm going to do one red here and one red here, okay? I don't think that the red shows up very well. I guess it shows up a little bit, uh, but I just don't know that I wanna do the berries. I don't think I want to use that. And on my other card, I use these pearls. Okay, I use the pearls around here. You can see in my original, then I kinda wanted it to look like, I don't know, like, like beautiful snow falling because mainly I felt like this needed a little bit. I just felt like it needed a little bit. So I'm going to stick with these because I kind of like these. The other ones have an iridescent feel to them as well. Um, but I felt like these showed up a little bit more. And so that's what I did. Because you know what? Uh, that's my card and I can do what I want. Just like on your card, you can do whatever you want, right? Don't get close, too close to the sun. No, I'm just kidding. Don't. Uh, oh, that's the moon. So you know what? Even forget that I'm talking. Oh, this little guy does not want to come off. Okay. Let's see. I think I want another one over here. I want some more. I uh, That spacing bothers me. Okay. And then let me do a couple of big ones. Let's do a big one here. Let's do... A big one down here in that little hole that's there. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. I think I flung these some places. I, I honestly do. I, um, no, because that's like that. Uh, 
let's put it right there. And then I did fling this guy, so let's put him right here. Okay, and do you think I need one more? Let's see, maybe one more. And the reason I did not use, I do want him right there, okay. The reason I did not use these right here was because these are a, these are a little bit see-through and I didn't want that. I wanted one that's more opaque. And so that's kind of why I went with um, these instead, all right? All right, so here is my card, my first Christmas card of the year. I hope you like it. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Have a great week and thank you for joining me. Bye.